All right. Welcome, everyone, to our newest Accurator webinar, What's New? Intro to Alpha AI and User Dashboard. And as the name already gives away, we are presenting today Accurator's newly launched premium slicing software and our newest platform for learning and support, the User Dashboard. My name is Julia Kemesis, and I'm happy to be your host today. Um, joining me at today's webinar is customer success representative for Europe and the Middle East, Lillian. And he will be guiding us through the user dashboard later and then also will give some best practices for the slicing software and just to give you some guidance on the most commonly printed applications. Hi, Lillian. Hello, everyone. All right. Also, as you may have known from our banner, by the end of this webinar, we will be announcing the winner of a one year Alpha AI premium license. So stick around and see who's going to be today's lucky winner. And without much further ado, let me share our presentation and our Alpha AI with you guys. All right. So what are we going to cover is the introduction to Alpha AI, then the new premium functions and how to buy and download Alpha AI. And then we go to the user dashboard and be sure to stick around for the end because we will also have a Q&A session here. So when we were developing Alpha AI, we were really thinking about the key issues that clinicians and technicians have. And that is that they want to save time and effort. And they also want to be able to eliminate user error as much as possible to make those workflows truly delegatable to possibly assistants and um, you know anyone that in your office has the time maybe to start a print. So, and at Accurata, we've always really been committed to making dental 3D printing as accessible and reliable. And this new software is a major step towards achieving that goal. So how does it work? Alpha AI uses machine learning to analyze data from thousands of real designs and comes up with the optimal orientation for a given application, including adding the necessary supports. So with just one click, you can achieve success for your 3D prints every time. And that's really to make your processes more predictable and help you achieve optimal results. And yeah, you can all try it for yourself, actually. Alpha AI is free to download on our website, and I will be sharing the links for that in our chat here shortly. Yeah, um, also, if you have any questions, please put them in the questions tab uh, on the bottom right, and we will be addressing them later in our Q&A session. So let's jump into these new, into these new features and so that I can give you a show what that actually is. So let's start out with the showstopper and our number one new feature. And that is the auto orientation and support settings. It's just literally one click and it's done. So this will be a very short demo. What you need to do is, of course, import your STL file, select your printer and resin manufacturer and resin type. So that is something you'll still need to do yourself. And then all you need to do is the following. So just watch and enjoy. There you go. One click and it's done. Here we go. We go to save and slice, send it to the printer, and we're good to go. So that was really it. This is what's going to help you make your processes so much faster. No more tedious settings of supports. You can just click one button and get it done for all of them. So how is this system fitting into Accurator's open philosophy? And that is because you can actually export now the sliced STL files to any other printing software. So here we go. This is what you can do. Unlike other slicing software, Alpha AI gives you the flexibility to orient your print and add supports and then save it the file in multiple formats. That is the I3DP, IBF, and STL. So that means you can use it with any other printer and not just the Accurata 3D printing solution. At Accurata, we believe in empowering our customers with open systems. So whether you're using our 3D printing solution or others, you can use that anyways and use our premium functions 
to go with the quick processes and then bring it to another software. All right, our next feature is the different prints and then the multi selection tool. So basically what this is, is that you can import a whole range of different applications and different prints. So for example, if I have to print about 20 crowns, you know, setting supports for each one of them may take me some time. With this tool that you can just multi-select several applications at once and then do the auto orientation using the Alpha AI premium functions makes it really easy for you to set supports and reduce the time you spend on it to a few seconds versus minutes. So this is just one of the ways that Accurator is trying to make your work and your stream, work stream easier. So, I mean, the question now that is important is how do I actually download new Alpha AI? So there are two different versions. We have the standard version that is open to anyone. Um, so you can all download that on our website. I will be dropping the link shortly. And then we have the premium plan. And the premium plan includes those premium functions that I've just shown you. So the auto supports and auto orientation, as well as exporting the STL files. So then you can go ahead and click on download, fill out the form, and then you can download the Alpha AI version. And then you will be in receiving an email with instructions on how to install the software and start slicing. So this is shown here. So this is the email that you will be getting, and you will also be getting an access code. And then how do I upgrade to the premium plan? So that's what we're walking through here. The Alpha AI premium plan is $19.99 per month or $220 per year. And this version includes the extra features that we've just discussed, including the AI-powered multi-select and compatibility with variety of applications. You'll also be able to export up to 50 STL files per month, and you'll get access to new compatible applications every three months. To purchase a premium plan in Alpha AI, find the upgrade to Alpha AI premium button on our website. And once you complete the purchase process, enter the unique access code that is sent to you in your email, and then type it into that premium icon in the top right corner of the screen in Alpha AI and enjoy it. So here you go, see that process on the screen. That's your access code that you see in the email. And then you just pop it up here on the top right. So whether you choose the standard or the premium version, Alpha AI is a great choice for anyone looking to streamline their 3D printing workflow and to achieve better results. And maybe you're getting a free version today. So just stick around for the end of this webinar when we will be announcing the winner of the one year free license. Um, and then with that, I'm going to be handing it over to Lillian, who will be introducing the user dashboard. Yes, thank you, Julia, for this uh, quick presentation. Obviously, the sim simpler we make it, it uh, the faster it is to present. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about our new uh, user dashboard here. Let me share my screen. Okay. So this is our new user dashboard. This uh, we aim it to be the go-to place for managing your printer, learning more about digital dentistry, and also troubleshooting any issue you might have with your printer. So to get there, you will need to register. And then uh, in my device section, you will just have to register your device. So you will click add a device and choose your printer the serial number, and also your chopin channel. Once you have registered, you will have access to all the features of the user dashboard. Uh, I'm going to present you all these features that we have right now, and then I will talk about uh, what is coming in the future and hopefully a near future. So the first thing we have is the learning center here. In the learning center, you will have uh, ways to get, gain knowledge about 3D printing and digital dentistry as a whole. First, you will have a glossary where you will find all the terms you might come across during your experience. Uh, and also in the device view, you will see where every part of our printers and also our Clini and Curie for the post-curing are located 
and what it is. So if you have an issue, you will know what we are talking about when we mention one of these items. If I go back to my learning center, you also have a resource center. So this is where we will you will have access to all what all the articles, webinar, video gallery, every content we published uh, over the years. Here you will have it accessible with uh, an easier way to sort out what is what and what you want to learn about. Oh, sorry, oh, share this tab. Okay. So that's it for. Sorry. That's it for the resource center. And now the main uh, thing on our user dashboard is the support section. Well, it is for me because that's what I do every day. But this will be a way for any user to troubleshoot himself uh, any issue he might come across with his printer. So in the support section, you have a troubleshooting section that we will discuss right after, but you also have the frequently asked question and also a link to open a support ticket. So let's say, for example, we are going to do a real case. Uh, you want to print a splint and at the end of your print, only the base and the support printed and you are wondering what happened. So to find out, you will need to select your device. So in that case, that would be sold, let's say. And then you will be presented with four sections, printing, printer, resin, and internet. The printing section relates to anything about uh, failure of printing. And the printer section is about the behavior of the printer. If it doesn't behave correctly, if it doesn't turn on, if only the screen is blinking something, this is where you will go. The resin is for uh, any resin uh, related issue. And finally, internet. As you may, may know, uh, the soul is always connected to the internet. So if you have issues with your network, this is where you will be able to troubleshoot it. For our case of a splint with only base and support printed, we will go to printing. Let's click apply. And I will be presented with a list of different issues I might come across during printing. When you select one of the items, you will have a short description and also pictures so you can see if that matches the issue you have. So for this first one, build platform adhesion, uh, the print is partially or totally detached from the build platform. And I have picture and um, it's not quite what I have. My print is still attached, but it's not complete. So I will go to the second one, support partially printed, only a portion of the support were correctly printed there. It is closer, but still not that because I don't have a, a print at all. I just have the support. So I will go to the next one. And here I have only the print only partially printed. First picture doesn't match, but the second one, if I want, I can zoom in. The second one is exactly what I encountered. Only a base with supports and no print attached. So this is my issue. I will click this button here. And I will be presented with a simple checklist uh, of items that you can know without doing in diagnostic. You can know if you followed this recommendation or not. So uh, it's very basic things like the build platform condition, the temperature, did I cl close the hood during printing, did I steer my resin, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If one of these items was your issue, perfect. You can click I solve my issue and go back uh, printing again. If it's not, you can go to troubleshooting. Once again, you are presented with a list. This is all the root causes for your defect. So you have uh, intermediate test and advanced test. Intermediate test is all the tests you can do without uh, getting your ends in the printer, like without needing any spare part. And the advanced test is where you will need to service yourself, your printer, but it will still be basic and always guided with videos. So let's go through these items. For example, is my VAT film loose, uh, dirty, leaking or damaged? And for each items, I will have a diagnostic how to know 
this is an issue and the solution how to fix it. Here I have uh, a visual control of the VAT film and check if it is leaking so I can see what a damaged VAT might look like. And also I have a video, a short video of uh, how to know if it's leaking. In this case, simply pour water and then see if uh, you have water leaking underneath. And you will have to go through all these uh, tests. So as long as it's not the one that caused your issue, you will go through, uh, you will click on it doesn't solve my issue until you find the correct one. In the case, you don't find any correct solution. So if I click, I it, is, it doesn't solve my issue all these times, you will be automatically uh, redirected to the uh, ticket form. Sorry. So this is it for the support section. Now let's talk about what's coming next. So in the device section right now, you will just see your printer and the warranty, if it's still under warranty or not. Uh, what's coming next is a way for you to access your printer remotely, even if you are at the other side of the world. So just like you can do it if you're on the same network, you will be able to do it remotely from another network or another country uh, if you need to. You will be able to start a print, import files, and also check the status of your printer, what it's printing, and how long uh, is left. The second thing we want to add is in the learning center, you might have seen the academy here. So it's not released yet, but we are preparing a series of courses, uh, educational courses, so you can learn everything there is to learn about our products, but also digital dentistry as a whole with the scanning and the design for the most frequent application. So this is uh, another coming feature that will help you gain knowledge about the whole digital dentistry. So this is it for the user dashboard right now. And we are going now to we are going back to our slide. So we wanted to take the opportunity uh, of you being present here to give you a little reminder of uh, the best practices for our um, software. And uh, in this case, uh, we will go through some tips uh, for Alpha AI that are also valid for Alpha 3D. Maybe you already know about it, but uh, it's, uh, it's always good to refresh your memory. So the first topic we will talk about is how to uh, make sure you selected the correct resin and the correct uh, printer because this is actually a frequent cause of failure. So always make sure when you do the setup before you start uh, orientating or placing support on your print to select the correct uh, application and the correct resin. And if you have uh, a resin with shades, you need to be mindful to select the correct shade. If it's not mentioned in the list, it means all the shades share the same settings, so you can go with the general set. Also, for the layer thickness, uh, be if so, let's remind you what the layer thickness does. Uh, the finest settings will have you will get, give you a print that will be smoother and the faster setting will increase your production by having faster prints. But what it doesn't do is change the accuracy. So even if you print a fast print, the change in accuracy will be very minimal. So it's only a question of if you want something to look better 
or to print faster. Also, you will notice the turbo function that is only exclusive to the Accurata resins. This turbo function is a special parameter with very aggressive uh, speed, which means you will increase even more your production, but it is done at the cost of aesthetics. So it is recommended to use it for uh, prints, simple prints that you don't need to uh, have very smooth. It's better for really testing or printing models, for example. The second item in our practices, okay. So the second item in our practices is a question we received a lot lately, is where is the support application gone in Alpha 3D and in Alpha AI by extension? So, Previously, in Alpha 3D, you could select the application you wanted to print to have uh, settings for the supports uh, already chosen for you. Now, this uh, function is gone. And the reason why is because we actually change our way of thinking. And instead of calibrating the support for the application, we calibrated the supports for every single resin uh, we have calibrated on the printer. So this means if you change a resin, you will have a change of the settings automatically. We did that because it is different resin have different optimal settings. So even if it's temporary for both resin, it can be uh, it can be optimized. So when you select your resin, if you want to change, you go back to setup like in the video. You change your resin. And then you click reset and uh, update, and it will apply the new settings automatically. Another item we come across very often is specific to cast, but it can be applied to everything actually. But for cast, we often see people uh, printing uh, many crowns or bridges at the same time of cast, and they will try to nest it so all the all uh, the bases of each print makes a one big layer. And it might be counterintuitive, but instead of making the base stronger, this will make the base weaker, and you will risk to have a failed print. Cast resins are uh, will often shrink a lot, a lot more than over application. And this shrinkage force is greater the greater the base is. So if you have a big base, you will run the risk that your prints will fall on the sides from the build platform. To avoid that, you should uh, separate all your prints. And a simple way to do this is to go into the slice menu on Alpha AI and just select a correct spacing and click nesting and it will automatically nest your crowns with a minimal spacing in between each other and then you will have a safer print finally the next item we wanted to talk about is a very simple one but it can save you a lot of uh, pain it's how to name your printer because if you have more than one printer and if even if you have one it can be good to give it a name so how to do that you simply go on your printer click the cranked wheel go to system and then change the printer name what this allows you what this, this uh, protects you from is to start a print on the wrong printer with the wrong resin inside and having a failure and even worse, if you have already a print attached to the build platform of this printer, you might uh, damage the screen or even the internal component of your printer and pierce your VAT. So this is very important to make sure you are sending the correct uh, job to the correct printer. And you will see in the list here in Alpha AI, when you scan, the name will be displayed.
so it is a bit blurry, but you know. yeah, you can see accurate as all one. So if you have multiple printers or different kind of printers, we will advise you to change the name. Uh, so this is it for uh, all the user dashboard and the best practices to have uh, with our software and our printer. Now, Julia, uh, we will enter the Q&A session. I see yeah. that we have a couple of questions already. All right. Um, so for anyone that was asking if this, show, if this webinar is going to be recorded, yes, it is. And actually, we will have a second session that is suited for European and uh, like Asian time zones uh, on March 2nd. So feel free to come back. We also actually have already a lot of material about Alpha AI on our YouTube channel. On January 20th, Eugene Roisinger gave a really great webinar and also discussed the benefit of Alpha AI in there. So feel free to check that out on our YouTube channel. And Lillian, so about the questions we often get from users, right? Is like, do I need a course to be proficient using Alpha AI? As you know, as our onboarding training guy, what is your answer to that? So I don't think you need uh, an extensive course. Uh, of course, if you want to be uh, optimal in every detail, you can learn more with us. But the goal of Alpha AI is to make everything accessible to everyone. So you, as you can see, it's with the premium function, it's a one click process. And if you need some resources, you can find it on our website or also on our YouTube channel, as we publish a lot of guides, uh, even tutorials for Alpha 3D or Alpha AI. So I don't think you need an extensive course to use it. Yeah. And I think so another question that we always get, and I think it is answered with what we've just presented is, is Alpha AI specialized for dental applications? Yes, definitely. Uh, the reason we have calibrated are focused on dentistry, the settings, the supports, everything is calibrated by us and it's made for digital dentistry. Yeah. And so one of the, the questions that I think always comes a bit maybe creates a little bit of confusion is like, what is the difference between the I3DP, the IDF and the STL file? And why is it now useful to be able to export an STL file? Okay, so uh, let's start with the STL file uh, then. The STL file is kind of an universal format file, uh, file format, sorry, that is used for every, almost every printer. It is a 3D object, and uh, this is not something you can print as it as it is, but it's something you will import into your slicing software to get a printable file at the end. In our case, our slicing software will give you two different types of files, the i3dp and the ibf files. These are files made by Accurata and for the Accurata uh, solution. So the i3dp file is a project file that can be used by Alpha AI or Alpha 3D. And it's just to, if you need to go back to your print and you don't want to re-import and replace the support, you can just import this file instead and it will have kept in memory all the settings you chose and the, the orientation and the nesting and the support. So you will have your project as you uh, try to print it. The IBF file itself is the, what we call a slice file. So when you take a 3D object to make it printable with an LCD printer, you need to cut it in, in slices. So it can be like images that will be printed one on top of the other, and that will make your uh, 3D object at the end in the printer. And this is the IBF file is this file, and it's the one you will send to the printer for uh, starting your print. All right. Good. Thank you for your answer. Great. So guys, if you still have any questions, please send them in now. I think we're coming close to the end here. And since we're coming close to the end, we should make some, some virtual drum roll here because we're going to announce the winner for the 
one year alpha AI license for the premium function. And so while we were having this discussion here, we also selected a winner randomly, I might add. Um, and here we go. The winner of the free license is Curtis Welsh. So Curtis, uh, congratulations. We'll be sending you an email and congrats. Thank you for attending to all of you, obviously, but Curtis, special thanks to you. And we'll be sending an email to you under the email that you registered here. And then we'll give you the access to the Alpha AI premium functions. I hope you enjoy it. For anyone also interested in trying out the Alpha AI premium functions, you all have access to a 14 day free trial. So anyone can actually take use of that. Uh, I'll be sending that link right now. Give me one second. Bum, bum, bum. Here you go. You can go ahead, go into that link and check it out. Um, and then you can see down there is the 14 day trial option. Download the original standard version first and then go select the trial version and 14 days is free for everyone. So I would also like to draw some attention to our upcoming events. The rest of this month, we have a ton of super interesting webinars coming up with some real industry experts speaking about topics near and dear to their heart. We have, okay, sorry. Okay, Deb Winya has a question. Once the trial is over, how much is the premium? I think I said it briefly, but I'll, I'll say it again. So the monthly cost of Alpha AI is 1999 and then the annual cost of Alpha AI is 220. So you can check that out. I think it's really worth your time and effort. Um, but try out the free trial first and then see what you think. Deb, hope that could answer your question. If you have any more, let me know. Yeah, and while we're waiting maybe for more questions, let me talk about our upcoming events. Uh, next week on Thursday, we have a great webinar coming up with Dr. Chan Wei Tram, Intro to Dental 3D Printing, and he'll be focusing on 3D printing restorations. Um, so Dr. Tram has been working with 3D printing for quite a long time. Uh, he has a lot of experience with different printers and also different resins. So that, that one will be definitely quite interesting. And let me share the link to that right now. Anyone can sign up. Also, be aware that all our webinars are recorded and the way you can get immediate access to them on demand is that you register and then you can watch them right away after the webinar has wrapped in case you were not able to attend. We also have a really great webinar coming up on February 16th with Luis de Bellis, Dr. Luis de Bellis, who is actually a trained dental technician and general dentist focusing on implantology. Um, and he'll be focusing on surgical guides. So I think that is also a really interesting webinar. Surgical guides are probably one of the most printed applications out there. And those really make it worth to get a 3D printer in house. And now if you can't get enough of us, you should absolutely be coming to find us in February at CDS Midwinter or at LMP Lab Day. We would be thrilled to have you. We actually have two phenomenal lectures coming up, one with Eugene Roisengert and one with Lee Kolb. Um, so I think that'll be really worth it. If you want any more information about these events, check out our website, check out our social media. You can always reach out to Lillian or me directly and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Yeah, uh, and then in on March 2nd, we have another Alpha AI webinar coming up with the, also another introduction to the user dashboard. So if you wanted to send any of your friends, colleagues in our direction, feel, you know, send out this invite and let them know that we're doing this again on March 2nd. Um, yeah, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I don't see any more questions right now. So let us know if you have any more questions. Lillian, how about you share your number one advice to anyone starting out with 3D printing when you do a training? What's the number one thing that you say to people to get them started? Um, I would say don't be scared about uh, something new. Uh, it is always uh, a bit scary to get inside into a new technology that you don't know, maybe you don't know many things about um, we have a lot of resources for that but you need to uh, try it yourself and you will see that it's not that hard um, 
actually we make everything in our uh, power to make it even easier but um, yeah i think that's what i would say uh, to people that are looking into the digital dentistry and doesn't know if they need to get into it or not uh, this will save you um, time and money so uh, it's definitely worth uh, getting some knowledge about it and even without much knowledge with our products we aim to make it accessible to everyone yeah i think that's a good way to wrap it up the way what we do is to really make 3d printing accessible to dental professionals and um we hope you all share our view on that if you are interested in our products and if you're based in the united states we are available there through select distributors so you know be sure to reach out to us if you'd like to have more information about our equipment uh, you can do so via our accurate website or through our social media channels um, yeah and you know if you are at any of the events that we pointed out always feel free to reach out to us directly all right i think with that we can wrap it up thanks everyone for coming for attending for you know giving us your time so we really appreciate that and we hope to see you all next thursday at our next intro to dental 3d printing with dr chan wei chan all right lillian have a good day and thank you for your time thank you very much have a good night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.